Chance. Hello and good afternoon. Thank you so much uh, that you take the invitation from uh, Air Dance and that you are now the part of our beautiful big Air Dance family. I think it's an amazing pleasure for me, person of course, but of course for all the pleasure of, the, of our team and uh, amazing opportunity for all the dancers around the world because they have now the possibility to watch you also in the Air Dance app. Thank you very much, Jana. It's also a pleasure for me to accept your kind invitation and to join uh, a big, already big family of yeah. Air Dance. Yes, it is now. It's a four, more than 43, I think, teachers that we have. So, but like I and only the best only the best only the best that's that's the point so actually uh, we are doing this short um, interview always um, to bring a little bit closer or uh, all our teachers to our subscribers and the followers that are connecting to air dance um, for me in person we know each other from let's say another side of the story <laughs> because and from different, <laughs> from different as a yes. dancer and adjudicator yeah. exactly adjudicated and organizer of competition because every remember that one of my first competition was your competition where I started to dance in pro -M. But of course, I don't need to introduce you to many dancers uh, in ballroom around the world because you are amazing, you was amazing dancer, you still are. So the first question that I would like to ask you is how everything started? What is your story? Uh, in my book, which I written 20 years ago, it's one of the phrase to start dancing was a very clever mistake. <laughs> Uh, but I'm still, uh, I'm glad this decision was taken because by education I'm architect, but I choose not being an architect, but being a dancer. So I, st I was born in Ukraine, uh, actually this year very memorable for me, I will have a jubilee, mm -hmm. I will be 60 this year. Beautiful. In one and a half months, I will be 60. And uh, so I was born in Ukraine and I started dancing when I was seven, from the first class of my school. First it was a small group in a primary school, then we moved to the house of pioneers, mm -hmm. then it was more serious than studio, but everything starts in Ukraine when I was a kid. And actually it was my desire and dancing beside many activities I was interested. I was a master in football, I have degrees in shooting, swimming, chess, I played music, uh, five years bayan. Uh, accordion, uh, piano, drums, guitar, band. Beside all this, dancing was always. So why dancing? I strongly believe now already through experience and knowledge that the ballroom dancing is the best kind of activity because it's reflecting the philosophy of universe. Mm -hmm. Philosophy of universe is one of the major law of universe of the philosophy as a major science is that it's based on the struggle and unity of oppositions. Mm -hmm. Everything in nature, of one of my lectures yesterday was just about that. So everything has opposition and nature is in balance between oppositions. Mm -hmm. So dense couple is obvious model of universal structure which we could move to people living on this planet and to prove that compromise and peace is possible. So the dance couple, we all should be proud, dance teachers and dancers, that we are serving the nature, the God, if you wish, and people around the best possible way. We're giving them obvious, obvious demonstration mm -hmm. that we could live in peace. That's mm -hmm. why I believe this is the best service you could provide as a teacher and the best service you could get as a student mm -hmm. to be a dancer. The most harmonical way to improve your personal skills in all three major components mm -hmm. physical mental soul yes nothing else could give you this harmony exactly. so dancing is really the unique opportunity and i really wish everybody doesn't mean to be professional but everybody to pass through this education this so great dance. ability to be placed in life mm -hmm. in in interaction with opposition Amazing. This is I, um, I, I needed to tell you that I didn't expect uh, such an explanation, but it's, it's great. It's, mm -hmm. really, it's really amazing. So what is your, the biggest achievement in, in your life, in dancing? What is the... I always knew that as a teacher I will be more successful than as a dancer. I was from generation of the first uh, Soviet generation mm -hmm. of dancers who, because of perestroika, got opportunity to travel around, to take lessons with the best teachers, participate in the best competitions, competing with the best dancers. So I was in this generation of late 80s, beginning of 90s. 
And uh, of course, we were first. It was difficult. I remember yeah. I was dreaming to be 96 in Blackpool. Then I was dreaming to be 48 in Blackpool. Then 24. Now it's pretty easy. I mean, many of Russian, Ukrainians, Polish couples are in the finals, yeah. or champions. In my generation, we were first. But I was still semi-finalist of World and European Professional. So that was pretty very good at that time. But I always knew that my 27 years of competing career, 27 years, so 27 I was years on the was... dance floor, uh, was just a snap, one step for my future. I'm a teacher since I was born. I knew that I'm a teacher. I'm a messenger, I'm an advisor. This is actually the best what I can do. And I knew my students will reach much, much higher uh, achievements. And that's what happened now. I'm glad to be involved in preparing already decades of world, European, international Blackpool champions. Exactly, that's my next question. So how many champions you already uh, made? To be honest, you know, I never counted actually. I could tell you I'm very much involved, for example, in show dance. Okay. In ballroom, professional show dance, uh, five couples, what I prepared, already got the titles of world champions. Uh, Latin American show dance, Arsena Gamalian, Oksana Vasilieva, three times world champions, two times European champions. Uh, I never count really how many finalists, but I was counting at Royal Albert Hall, which I have honor and pleasure to judge already for more than 20 years, consequently. UK International, one of the biggest world events. And I was judging Royal Albert Hall. I remember it's 14 couples always in the semi-final yes. day, it's not 12. In the amateur field, it was from 14, it was a 10, which I'm working with. Great. And from professional 14s, I think it was eight or nine. I'm, I'm not the only one, of course. Of course, but you are part of level. the... I the am team. helping them to be in that semi-final, in that final, to be the best. Exactly, that's um, very interesting what you say now, because uh, maybe that will be also interesting for all the dancers around the world to uh, know how does it work on this very high level. Is it people that are standing behind a couple, there is not only one teacher, there is, uh, let's say, a team of teachers that they have uh, a proper work to do with these couples. So for a winning or for a success of a couple that is already in the top, let's say, uh, 10 or 12 on the world, there are standing many people, yes? I could say, ideally, everybody could do it himself. Ideally, but nobody perfect, nobody ideal exactly. is not reachable. Yeah. That means you could not do it yourself. Mm -hmm. Plus, you could not analyze and control yourself from inside. You should have this opposite, again, opposition, yeah. opposite eye from outside to check what you're doing and how you're improving. That means, and again, so many areas what uh, success is depends from. That's why it's the teachers, it's the coaches, so one is guiding you every day, Another one you take like a consultant, a consultancy from time to time, psychologists which are behind you, exactly. specialists. My wife, by the way, is a psychologist. She used to be our national Russian team for eight years, psychologist trainer. She is a professional dancer, used to be, and now is a, a psychologist. And I was a head coach, so I also always uh, invite her to make lectures. It's a specialist how you, what you're eating, it's your beauty team specialist with your makeup. It's a hairdressers, dressmakers. I mean, it's really a, everything a big makes matter. Exactly. Like... So it and it needs to be team which is again operating together. Someone should guide it exactly. Exactly. They are both. The goal knows what to do. Then of course your physical abilities, your doctors, which are your massage uh, people. Uh, if you want to be successful in something serious should understand it's not easy and it's not just like that it's exactly. too many components includes so you have to be able or someone for you have to be able to arrange all this work being done correctly in correct time in correct place in proportions to each yeah. other correct and then it's success yeah but when i listen now to that so it's like 10 person let's say but all this person, they needed to work for me, let's say. Yeah, I am the, the, the part of the couple, so that means I need to be very, very rich. You're right. And then again, as soon as you are more advanced, more clever, more educated, happening in your life by being a clever boy, clever girl, listen to your parents. If you have a correct parents to teach you correctly, if you hire your education correctly, you could save money because some of this 10 you could do yourself. 
-hmm. For example, you could make your hairstyle just passing some course and do it yourself, at least sometimes. It's saving already. You could arrange the timings yourself. It's okay. You could make massage, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> to each sorry. other. For example, it's already. So it is in items when you could actually save if it necessarily. Yeah, but still, even if I do part of this work uh, by myself, then the rest of the team, uh, I need to have money to travel, I need to have money to pay for the lesson of the consultants, of the and other people that still work for me, yeah, because they, 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 they spend the time and of course they need also money to uh, take care about themselves and they, those families. Yeah? So it's like, you know, like a circus matter. Everything yeah. is uh, connected together to make a right way. So actually, Jana, it's a two uh, different areas. To be the best in the world, it couldn't be cheap. Exactly. <laughs> it's ju it, it just not cheap to be the best in the world. In the planet, the only one which has... But you mankind. know that this is not so obviously. Many people think that the, to be a champion, it's enough to have a wish. Uh, Sometimes, in some areas, it does work when there is no too much competition, for example. Exactly. If you create it wish and something which is absolutely unique, nobody been there, you're already the champion. Exactly. But we are living already in an industry which has exists for a pretty long period, mm -hmm. long time, well established, well structured already. And it's good that you could not be just alien coming from somewhere and, and win the championship. Exactly. You have to do it step by step, competition by competition, lesson by lesson, knowledge by knowledge, to create your level enough, good enough, to be equal to that respectful title of the best. Mm -hmm. Good. So any advice for, uh, let's say, um, new generation of champions that it's coming? <sighs> I will say every teacher in business, in any business, doing his best. Just best is different, of <laughs> course. So advice is, of course, there, there, there could be, and there are many very good teachers on a certain levels. I used to have in my dance school one teacher. I left all my things away just to be witness at her lessons with the dance school beginners. She was genius of a dance school. She was just genius of social dancing. I was sitting like, Every was, and everybody stayed and continued his education because she was just fantastic. So she was a great teacher on that level. She mm -hmm. never made any champions. It was not a goal. Her position was, so everybody should understand his position in this pyramidal structure mm -hmm. and do his best on that level. Yeah. So by results, by personal results as a dancer, then teaching and producing the the uh, product which is valuable, we are like on a different levels. It doesn't mean good or bad, as I told you. You could be the best on that particular level, and that's fine. You could move up, you could stay here, but this is already enough. So to be the best, sooner or later, you should come to the best knowledge. Mm -hmm. You should come to people who knows maybe a little bit better, a little bit more, a little bit more deeper, looking wider, or feeling you personally better which helps you, exactly you, because mm. someone could not understand what you're talking about. Yeah, and another one tells you, my God, you was my missing link. I used to be one in America, and the teacher in the studio, he used to have everybody already, everybody. He was actually like a pro uh, man for amateur in mm -hmm. pro And he just booked one lesson just to try. After one lesson, he booked next day, another two next day, and at the end of the second day, he raised me up like that in the room, and tell guy you was my missing link. <laughs> <laughs> I told him, put me down. I will help you a lot in the future if you now put me down. So sometimes you even don't know how the uh, student could accept information yeah, you provide. Yeah, yeah, of course, this is a duty of teacher to give information the best and most clear, uh, clear way. I always teach, the teacher should teach us, because I'm also teacher for teachers. Uh, the Congress I teach teaches you should understand the globally the subject to be a professional means to understand this area, your profession, on the most highest level. And then you, could, you should choose exactly words for your particular student. For example, when kid is small, how we explain in him what is a man? Mm -hmm. We take a pencil, I, I, point, point, circle, huh? <laughs> this is a man. When he's growing in the school, he got, you see, this is a skin, a hairs, ears, uh, uh -huh. later we tell him, 
You know what? It's a heart inside, lungs, mm-hmm. ribs, veins. Uh-huh. Later in the school, they tell him, actually, it's water, mineral salts, and something from the chemistry. Uh-huh. Later, we tell, we tell him, it's a cellars, chromosomes inside, DNA. Uh-huh. And religion tells, it's just body and soul. Yes. It's all about men. Mm-hmm. But explanations are on a different level, level of a student. Of understanding also, so yeah. teacher should understand the highest possible for him level, but then to find the correct words for his students. Yeah, but uh, how to choose the right teacher? Because I think there is no bad knowledge. All knowledge, all people that already achieved something in their life, they are, and they can tell us something that um, it's good for us. Of course, not everything we need to understand or understood. It's like. Uh, Um, there is some information that it's more closer for me, uh, but how to choose the right person uh, to put it on this team, you know, to create this team, to make this couple, make this person a champion? Um, in business, there is something called the right to say no first. Yeah. Prava первого отказа. Да. The first right to say no. What does it mean in our business? the titles, why we are struggling for titles, mm-hmm. why we are planning, wish to be semi-finalist, finalist, prize winner, champion. Because later when you start to be teacher, it gives you this right for the first no. Mm-hmm. For example, now we have a lot of social medias, you know, this platform open, Facebook. Before it was dance news, Only. a paper, yep. newspaper. A couple from Taiwan or from Singapore coming to London wish to take a lesson. They know England is the best at that time, London. So what are they doing? They open dance news, who is who, and they look. Richard and Janet Gleave, eight times undefeated world champions, coaching lessons, telephone number. Then Michael Wikibar, five times world champions, did it in. Then someone else, John Wood, world champion. And then Ivan Pupkin, lessons, coach, student. So who will be first to get their call? Eight times world champion. Richard said, sorry, I'm too busy, no time. Then he go into Michael Next and Vicky Barr, mm-hmm. five. That means the right to be first to say no. That means if you got titles, this is guys important for you, why you need titles. It gives you for the future advantage in business. So actually, this is the first obvious, if this teacher was successful as a dancer, it doesn't mean always. Yep. But if he was successful, it mostly means that he could be a good teacher also. Mm-hmm. At least you could try. As, uh, for sure, he's got a lot of information inside him. Definitely. Yeah. Another question is if he can teach. That's another question yeah. again. Then it's congresses. A very good option. If you visit congresses, every teacher has like 30 minutes, 40 minutes yeah. time to present his way, his level, his way of presentation of, of information, and then you could choose, oh, I don't understand it, oh, it's too many words, mm-hmm. it's just not about, oh, that I like him, okay, okay? call or write, maybe you're lucky, but normally not, because if he's good, he's busy. <laughs> that's great, yeah, that's, that's, um, uh, that's true, that's a very important thing, I think that it's that people understand how to create this team, these uh, opportunities, uh, that it's not coming from themselves, they, they need it to be... Just to add, uh, choose the best, the way you choose them, you think they're best, choose the best. Of course they cost more, they're more expensive, but they're guaranteeing you the correct information which moves you in correct direction. Because sometimes a cheap teacher or cheap lesson looks cheaper on the market, but he could move you in the wrong direction. Exactly. Even doesn't, and he could not even understand it sometimes. He's doing his best, but for some reasons, it's moving you out from the major direction. Mm-hmm. Later, even expensive lessons will be not enough to bring, to you, bring back. you back. Mm-hmm. So it's better to, let's say, to invest maybe not as often in the, in the good teacher, I mean, not take too much lessons. Like with myself, I'll tell you, you don't need me every day. I'm not a teacher for every day. I'm not a coach. Mm -hmm. I'm a teacher to come periodically, but with, let's say, a certain period, not like after one year. Once a month, for example, or every second week, if you could. Just to correct your direction, to get a next point, guidelines, where you're moving. Then you're working with your home teacher, then you come again, get another direction, 
and then you were going to get at least with me it's working the best mm -hmm. that way uh, I would like to ba um, come back for just a little um, uh, time uh, to your um, career as a, as a dancer and this time when you was um, competing which competition was your favorite and which one was the Oh, we have these competitions and they become my favorite because they were the best. Uh, definitely Blackpool. Definitely Blackpool. It's a history. Everybody dance in Blackpool. If you didn't dance in Blackpool, you're not a ballroom dancer. You're not a, a, a dancer. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, today some organizations restricted people from coming to some events, unfortunately. But it's really uh, not good for dancers. International and UK. I mean, these three English uh, in Britain. Unique, international unique, because it's Royal Albert Hall. Yes. UK was one of my favorite because I think it's the best set of everything in one place. Exactly size of the floor. Uh, brilliant lightings. Every, in whatever you, whenever place you're taking, it's clear. Your choreography is placed without any changes. Any color of the dress is fit UK floor. For Blackpool, you should know which colors fit Blackpool. Of course. For Royal Albert Hall, you should know which color fit Royal Albert Hall, because not all of them. You could be in trouble if you just uh, not know which color is good and choose the wrong one. For UK, every, 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 uh, every one is good. I think that was probably, of course, world Europeans, whenever place they were located, yeah. important from the title, again, uh, view. So definitely this comes. Kremlin now, I was not lucky to dance there myself because I just retired when this competition moved Start. to Kremlin, mm -hmm. yeah. But I have a privilege again to be a chairman there every year, already more than 20 years in Kremlin. This is a unique place to dance. Uh, German Open, for example, in Mannheim, Rosengarten, fabulous event, absolutely fabulous place. Again, the floor and my first professional competition was there, very successful. Straight away we finished seven, right after the final, it was like boom. And I remember everything was great at that time. So this is, there are some, let's say, uh, places in the world special and already proved why they are the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were talking about a little bit also money and how does it work in the dancing world. Uh, now uh, we create something unique, uh, our first dance coin. What do you think about cryptocurrency? Do you know that? I know that your son is a little bit closer to this, let's say, crypto yeah. world. <laughs> yeah, my, my older son, he's 22 now, but he's already, I will say, world famous expert. Now he's consulting Porsche, Adidas, Bosch, the CEO from these companies, because they now got an interest into and cryptocurrency. The cryptocurrency yes. So he's doing the consultancy for them, which I'm proud of. So he knows something. He tells me, Papa, this is the future. I mean, it's already today, but today it's going through a lot of barriers yes. because the common certain system does not like it because it's a competition. Exactly. But he tells me the bank system as it is now is finished. It's finished. It's just not finished like that. It takes time, but it's already, let's say, it's an old product which does not relate it to this modern world. So cryptocurrency is the next generation. That's why he told me it is good. Another question, which one? It's too many of them. Of I course. know it's more than 200 of them yes. now. Uh, some of them will survive. Some of them will not survive. Some of them are orientated on that way of being used. Another one, that way of being used. But I trust my son as an expert. Cryptocurrency is a future. But don't follow every day um, <laughs> exactly. diagramma. You got crazy. You got crazy, you will be go to the crazy house. My, my son telling it's a long term investment. He tells me his investment is his future house, private jet or yacht. Beautiful. He will do it. He will count how it's work exactly. in the future. This is very important what you say now and what you advise your son because most of the people they are scary because they are thinking that, uh, that of course there is in social media a lot of uh, people that uh, showing uh, that they uh, have make uh, amazing profit in let's say two three days but of course there is a possibility if you are very lucky and you have a um, right moment of investment and you invest right amount of money 
you can uh, get a profit that is very, very big. But usually you needed to understood that this way of investment is a long term investment. And that's what you say. It's very, very important. And sorry, just because it's going up and down a lot, if you could allow yourself to be really professional, educated, and really every day looking, pretending, listening, uh, calculating, you could earn a lot because it's going up and down. Of course, you if can you always sell. If you bought it here and exactly. if you sell it there, you could be millionaire in a couple of days, uh, I'm weeks. Yeah, but I don't know how long you will be, uh, survive. But who, yeah, and who, could, <laughs> who is able, who has such knowledge exactly. of feelings or so much understand the, the trends in the world, politicians, Everything wars, matters, conflicts. Yeah. I mean, so any investment, guys, it's just, it's not a secret. It's a risk. You're risking. Maybe yes, maybe no. So one of the investment rule is you should invest only money which That's you're not yes. depends from. If you have some, a little bit, maybe $10, maybe $100, but you could leave them aside, not for everyday use, you could invest them. If you lose, you forget it. It's not what I'm related on. But if you win, it was a good investment. Yes. Do you have a crypto wallet? Uh, I don't have a wallet, but my son actually helped me with Bitcoin uh, because he told me the, at the moment this is, let's say, the most stable, if mm -hmm. you could say that way, the most popular, which is important, uh, clear system, how it works. So yes, I did invest in Bitcoin. And now, start with uh, Airdance as you are first on the market. Yes, exactly. To be honest, my first opinion was these people are probably a little bit crazy. <laughs> but you have to be crazy if you move something new on the market. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Uh, what gives me, let's say, a uh, reason to believe that it could be successful, again, nobody guarantees, we have wishes, that uh, knowing you better now, being in conversation now, in some meetings, seeing you, seeing this beautiful, uh, studio, not studio, actually, it's a house of dancing. Uh, so, well, really, I, I understand again how much investment already done beside it. So, it's not just, okay, guys, we have a great idea to earn money. Come to us, buy our paper coins now, and we are earning money. No, I could imagine how much money already invested, but because you are business people, I know you, you, you know how to calculate. So you know that this investment should work. Otherwise, exactly. you're bad business people. But as far as I see now, <laughs> you are good business people. And, that back, gives me <laughs> and back to business, we are uh, seeing each other also, also because you create something very unique, very amazing tool. And we have the privilege also to um, introduce this tool in our app as a first uh, company. And of course, you can now buy also this amazing tool in our shop and not only in the shop, but uh, also in um, on website and everywhere. There will be some new promotion made also for that one, but that comes uh, later. So follow our, our, our uh, social media, then you can see it. We've got here this beautiful gadget. Uh -huh. And you can maybe... I even didn't know you prefer Of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So 20 years ago, I created an uh, idea. For 20 years, I made some drawings, uh, saved them. And for 20 years, I was... Thanks God, I was too busy with other things that it was no time and no really particular reason to realize it. Now it's done. So this is portable dance partner, my dance assistant. This is a gadget, a partner. So it's not something working instead of you, like a frame sometimes, you know, on the market, you could put on your shoulders, correct? But they are working instead of you. And it's pretty dangerous. So safe is very, it's first priority in everything what I'm doing to be safe. So this is a partner. This is a gadget to be related. Partner is someone you related to. Mm -hmm. So this gadget, this, collection called Royal Classic Collection. Royal because the name of this gadget, there will be four of them. This one called Queen. So it's for men. So it's a partner for men. I like the name. Yeah, Queen. The, for women will be Queen and there will be Prince and Princess for boys and girls. So actually, you put it that way around your shoulder and under your arm. You hold it in front of you. 
it's adjustable so you could change and adjust it exactly for your physical parameters or your partner parameters it's also adjusting here with the length of belt you fix it here you could also move the belt down the cane to change the uh, flexibility if you move it apart it will be triangle fixed if you move it in the middle it will be more flexible mm -hmm. it could be used for uh, any pair style of dance ballroom latin because in latin you always have to feel this connection between arms or not flying with the arms keep them strong change your side if argentinian tango bachata so you know, everywhere everywhere when you have this let's say constant position so pulling a little bit away you creating this physical interaction like with a real partner and also from left to right so it's a great materials it's a high materials every detail those one who knows me knows my wish and always the goal for perfection i did it perfect it's above my expectation and all project actually was done online distance during this year 12 months i was sitting at home with the plastiline, silicone, gips, doing all these details, all angles well calculated, the lengths, the distance between the holes, materials, how soft, GDNic, orthopedic, the weight of this gadget, everything is, I'm behind that, guys, simply. Yeah, and I it, see all the emotion now when you are explaining that, it's like, you know, it's coming from inside of you. So I for did sure it's already. made <laughs> with uh, a lot of love and uh, preparing with um, amazing I did knowledge. already a lot in the dance business but I will say this is probably the best what I've done up to now this is my personal opinion and it's foldable so you could actually put it easily it's a oh, the, the back is not here it's a nice <laughs> it's a nice back around also so you can put it in your rucksack or in your back when you travel so when you are alone your partner is sick your partner is busy lazy tired or oh, guys oh you I, don't like him or, or isolated <laughs> now unfortunately we pass in this period and i'm sure it will be more periods in the future studios are closed we are not allowed but you need to keep your conditions so you could use it easy you could use it at home on the holidays everywhere everywhere you could take it with you and keep tunes keep tonus being in shape and another it's very popular now solo dancing mm -hmm. because it's good people are staying even don't have a partner yeah. it's a problem to find a partner when kids start dancing it's always majority of girls so what happens girls are leaving the dance dancing world being sad yeah so this is a partner of course not as good as real the real <laughs> is soft the real is warm the real is real but if it's not or you don't find yet this you one will one. help you to be ready for this first meeting because this try out what is try out it's the first maybe thing. yes maybe no if i like the touch if i like the reaction or it will be working it will be working yeah. so very often try out doesn't work because one of the partners is just not ready yeah. so this gadget will help you to prepare teachers will help you i will make we will have make a lot of videos tips methodics how to use these gadgets if you're a teacher for your students, if you're a dancer for your own. So please welcome Portable Dance Partner, My Dance Assistant. Yes, great. Uh, I have a last question because I think we are now running with the time a little bit. <laughs> we have online <laughs> lessons today. Yes, exactly. Lessons. So then we can, then we can uh, use it for sure today and we can maybe see how does it work. But as a last question, what is your advice for new generation of dancers? Uh, first, to keep tradition, look back and take the best. Without this, there is no future. To exist today, current world, to make the best, to keep it correctly from the nature side. That's my, I, my way of teaching as well. It's not me anymore. I'm not talking I wish, I would like, I want. I normally say, the nature says and then you have two options to follow nature or to go against it mm -hmm. first way you will be awarded second you will be punished mm -hmm. so to educate to study to learn nature and to use it for dancing to keep and to be intelligent in relation to each other mm -hmm. 
be educated humans, you have to be respectful for your partner and in return. You have to understand that dancing is not about steps or figures or choreography, it's about relation. When I'm judging, first what I'm judging and last what I'm judging, the level of relations. Are they honest? How high level is? How trusty dancers are towards each other? And do they really reach the major point of pleasure? If they pleased each other, they please themselves. And then I'm just looking who is pleased more. This is my first place, second, third, and so on. Great. And in the future, again, if you're a champion, be correct champion. In my wordings, I have this word, correct champion. Unfortunately, we used to have many incorrect champions in a business. Incorrect champion could move business, again, out from the main road. So if you dream to be a champion and you will become a champion, be correct one. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Pleasure. And we see us in the next few hours on the app. Thank you. Great. Tell me to dance, take the chance.